Well, it's a really good afternoon to you. Um, I bet you can't guess where I am. Should I give you a clue? I come in here most Thursdays to the farmer's market. Yes, you've probably guessed. It's Carrick on Shannon. So I brought my camera with me today. I've just come away from the farmer's market. I've done my little bit of shopping. And then I thought I'd just stop here by the Shannon. On the other side of those trees is the mighty Shannon River. And this is a beautiful walkway that's been created over recent years. So here we have a little copse. All these beautiful little alder trees which like water have been planted and the path made through them and look no shooting only pictures it's a bird sanctuary and there's lots of little bird boxes up around here so this is really very beautiful so I'm going to walk along and just film as I go so this is um, a nice sort of a gravel path and planted lots of trees here by the Shannon. If you look over here, you'll see all the various trees that they've planted. Lots of willow, some rowan and ash and alder. Please don't allow your dog in the flower beds. <laughs> all these flowers and uh, trees, all these are for pollinators. So they're all for bees and butterflies. Here we go. Carrick on Shannon supports biodiversity, tidy times. So much of this has been planted by volunteers. There's a beautiful little ornamental crab apple, which again is a lovely, lovely tree to plant for pollinators. So this is a wildflower meadow. So this has been left to go very wild. And uh, you can see all the, all the flowers and grasses and herbs and nettles and reeds. We'll continue on up this path because I really want to share this little walkabout with you. Carrick on Shannon, of course, is uh, the county town of Leitrim, County Leitrim. So here we have another two beautiful beds, and again filled with lots of flowers which are so important for all the life that supports us. And of course, lots of seeds going on here as well. So this would be a good place to come and collect seeds. I like these benches. They've just been made out of, um, uh, what are these called? The big wooden planks. got that bird brain going on this morning, today. So of course you can see here in Ireland we like to paint our buildings all different colours. Express our unique, our uniqueness. Lovely bench. Now you can just see the shaman there. I'm going to go up on this little walkway, so I'm going to take you out and around. But before we do that, I just want to show you this latest sculpture. Now, <clears throat> this is lovely, children walking on the wall. Um, 
here in Ireland we are really in the midst of resurrecting the goddess culture and look at this absolutely beautiful beautiful sculpture so you've got these lovely fish and the swirls it's all been carved out of wood absolutely beautiful and there we have swans at the back of it and fish and of course within tradition this goddess has become a saint course goes right back to pre-Christian pre-Christian Ireland. Sorry, in, she's a ninth century goddess. Sorry? Ninth century goddess of the river. Sorry? She's a ninth century goddess. Oh of the lovely. River. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just making a little video. Of course, yeah. You don't mind being on the video? <laughs> I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> So she's a 9th century goddess of yeah, the river. Of the river yeah. Lovely. And she has connections with that tomb. Okay, it's an architectural uh, site, you know, a very ancient site. Yes. And that was done by a chainsaw. Absolutely. It's fantastic. A chainsaw. 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 So who's the artist who, who did this? Limerick man. A and Limerick. Those things Absolutely brilliant. I'd love to see his name on here because it's well, a real did, work of art. Needs. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what she does. Yes. And it yes. just was well, a chainsaw. That was a bark of a tree yes. when he came there and he did all that with his It's stunning isn't it? And that it? face is his daughter's face. It's absolutely stunning. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for sharing that it's with stopping. me. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry what's your name? Monica. Monica. Hi Monica. <laughs> Lovely meeting you. So there we go. Ninth century, um, ninth century goddess um, who was Christianized. So she's called Saint Eden but absolutely stunning. Um, this is so much the way in Ireland. Of course, people are very friendly, they'll talk. Anyone who's visited Ireland will know that there's a real warmth in the people and that, um, you know, people are very good about just coming up and chatting. This is a beautiful little wall, look, that they've made here because it's also a bench. It's where you can sit. And of course for children. Children love to walk on the wall, don't they? So we're going to go out here on this beautiful walkway, but what we'll do is we'll go up a little bit further and come back the ways. Now look at this. Free small library. Tidy Towns project. And here look you can just open up this little this little cupboard and take a book. This wonderful children's books at the top and look at this. Oh, that's a good one. Minding Frankie, may have been she. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And the lovely flowers underneath as well. These are the ones that make beautiful dried flowers. There's little bees on them as well. Look at that. Absolutely little, little, little pollen bags filled. Look at that. I don't know if you can see. Look at that close up here. Look at this. <laughs> oh, the bees seem to just come out when I'm thinking of them. Isn't this beautiful? And there's the beautiful goddess. Ninth century goddess of the River Shannon. Now look at this. Carrick on Shannon, Tidy Towns, supports biodiversity. And look how we support the biodiversity. So we have bug hotels and we have beautiful plants that are very good for biodiversity. Lots of bug hotels up along there. Lots of flowers, lots of seeds. I think this is just fabulous. Strawberries even, look at this and poppies and borage 
and right at the end this beautiful bench made out of let me think oh yeah they're called sleepers they were used on railways so and because they're painted black they're really warm to sit down on beautiful warm seat for the old derriere <laughs> so we'll walk along Now, and of course, look, you can see lots of buddleia. There's lots of buddleia bushes over here, which are great, again, for butterflies. And you've got more seating, you've got picnic tables. Isn't this fabulous? And look at this. So we've got all these beautiful willows here planted on behalf of the pupils and staff of Gael Scully Trauma, which is um, uh, the, the Irish-speaking school in Leitrim. Lots of little bird boxes. And we've really, really embraced this fundamental need to do as much as we can to help life in all its forms but especially the life that supports us. Now there we go, anyone in Poland? I think there's a, a few people who tune into this channel from Poland. So you can see over there Polska Strafa and that's a Polish shop that sells Polish food. Because of course there's been a lot of Polish people have come to work in Ireland and settled in Ireland and live in Ireland and of course incredible uh, people and, and, they've, and they've added incredibly so to the wonderful mix that we have here in Ireland. Now this is the walkway that takes us right out onto the River Shannon. So we're just coming off that path now and onto this beautiful walkway and you have all the boats moored up there it's a little bit windy so look at the big water lilies down there actually making a little video. Oh, you sound like a visitor. I have, uh, wow, and you're from America. I have a lot of subscribers in America. I have a little channel here, it's called The Austin College on YouTube. And uh, there's a lot of people in America support the little channel. So you're enjoying it. If we don't, we go to Dublin or Belfast. So. And, and we're, I'm, I'm just going to turn around here because the wind's coming at the yeah. camera. Um, whereabouts in the States are you from? Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. Wow. That's Where fantastic. <laughs> well, I'm originally from Oma, County yeah. Tyrone. She says Oma. pointing I've north. I've been through Oma before. All right, yeah. And um, so I've been living here now for 14 years. So down at, at Well, just in a little village called Kichu, which is about eight miles away from Carrick. Okay. And um, I have a little permaculture small hole you know uh -huh. and uh, I now practice what's called goddess permaculture because it's all about all the life uh -huh. so it's not just about planting food for us you know we've become very egocentric haven't we oh, yeah. so it's all and of course 
here in Carrick there's been so much work done on the environment. Uh -huh. I'm sure you've noticed the difference. Oh yeah, yeah. Every time I come here I see something new. It's it fantastic, yeah, isn't it? This was not here. There was a little pier. Yes. Ran right along here back in the 80s. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not very big. And of course that boat pier was not even there. Yes, the that's only right. Both piers were on the other side of the bridge. Uh huh. Uh, those little bathrooms were there, but there was a, probably a different, and I know it was a different building. Yes. And uh, that bridge has been there, I think, since... <laughs> Time immemorial. Well, I don't <laughs> there was an older a, bridge there, wasn't yeah. there? Um, yeah, well, that one there was built, I think, in the 1830s or 40s. Yes, it's relatively new. And, and then they in, put that in, pedestrian thing on uh -huh. in 2008. That's right. right. Isn't that fantastic? So we're really getting into supporting people who want to walk. But yeah. this little area here oh, is brilliant, I've got isn't my it? Fit bit on, so you measure how much you walk. Yeah, it measures your steps. It's supposed right. to be 10,000 a day. And my okay. Tracking you from home, is she? No, this doesn't have a GPS. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're on vacation, you don't. Oh, you would surely, I yes. Oh, where are you? I've just come back from London. I was over there for a week. Yeah, Every so often, I have to drop in there, you know. Uh huh. And was it terribly hot still in London? But I was Texas, over there. I mean, yes. Austin was in the low hundreds, even. Do you know I've just been looking at all the wildfires was... over there. That's I mean California. I know. That's right. That's right. You see, we have had a joy, but we're relatively well protected because of the westerlies and yeah. because we've got the rain, you know? If the Gulf Stream hits this Absolutely. It was yes. in the low 70s here, Fahrenheit, uh -huh. where yes. it was in mid to high 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to carry on my okay. little my, my little walk. I'm just going round here and then I'm going to finish my video because it takes me hours to upload this. Uh, all I have is a wee hot spot. No, I don't. No. I haven't got the time for all that palaver. <laughs> just put it straight up and let it go. Put it out there, just cut the umbilical, let it go. But I have a wee hot spot on my phone and um, the last time I tried to upload a video that was more than 20 minutes long, it took me nine hours. Oh, yeah, I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to walk down myself. Yeah. Way. These water lilies are beautiful, yeah, aren't they? they are. They're just gorgeous. I love the sea. Oh, I know, I know. That's what people say when they watch my videos. Look at all the lovely ducks down yeah. here. So like mallards. Yeah, mallard hens. they're gorgeous. But you know, it just gives me so much hope for the future when I see the wildlife like this, yeah. still in its you know, purest form. You know, and uh, yeah, I like the building. This is nice. Yeah. This was a slight sleepier little town back in 1987. Oh, it was indeed. And there listen. There's no Tesco's or anything of that stuff. Do you hear this? This is actually the wind harps. Oh. You see, these are wind harps. So I'm just, I'm, I don't know um, if I'm picking up this sound here because of the wind. Uh -huh. But um, these that I'm pointing at are wind harps. Vibrates the string. That's right. And you hear the sounds? Yeah, I hear it. Because, of course, everything is energy. And vibration is, for, is a very important part of it. Take a picture of this and show it. Yeah, these are, and they're incredible during the winter, you know, when you get a storm. The music that comes out of them is just incredible. Yeah. So these yeah. are the wind harps. That's right, and there's a slightly different yeah. sound then from that. she would be a Celtic goddess. So um, I don't know if you've looked at it. It's carved from one piece of wood. Okay, I'm on my way. Yeah. 
and it has some beautiful carvings around the bottom. Uh -huh. Yeah, they've really done it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Really nice. Anyway, lovely talking with you. Bye bye. So now I've just gone on for 20 minutes and um, I'm just going to keep going actually because. <laughs> It takes me all day and half the night to upload it. I'm hoping it will be worth uploading. I'm hoping that the sound quality was good enough there that um, we got to hear what was being said. So here we have the wildflowers around Carrick on Shannon and its margins. So we're looking at self heal, marsh marigold, water mint, bog bing, Irish ladies' tresses, honeysuckle, marsh sink foil, sneezewort, and bog ash fidel. So we'll say goodbye to the goddess over there. Beautiful lady. And there we have, of course, you know, um, the stone that's got the riverfront amenity park and we even have a little dog waste bin just to encourage dog walkers to pick up the poop and put it in the bin <laughs> Um, sort of strike of monsoon type rains that went on for weeks and weeks on end and the Shannon flooded and the water came right up here and across the road so um, there's been a lot of planting that's been done since and especially with these trees So here we go, this is my car over there, look, a little orange car parked there, so I shall say goodbye, just stand underneath this tree, beautiful birch tree, look at this, isn't this gorgeous? And just blessings to you all from Carrick on Shannon. <laughs>